Right, Dave, we've reached that time of year where sort of big competitions are starting to come thick and fast. I mean, how excited are you for what sort of lies ahead over the next few months in, in Guernsey Golf? I think it's going to be a, a very good season. Uh, we've got a full complement of players now from both clubs. A couple of guys coming back into golf, the likes of Andy Ego, uh, who obviously needs no introduction. So I think, yeah, I think we're going to have a really good season. And um, in terms of sort of like the state of island golf, I mean, how would you th describe it sort of at this time? In, in my experience, it's sort of chalk and cheese from four or five years ago. Lots of good young talent coming through. Uh, obviously, we've heard a lot about Ollie, Jez, uh, CJ Elmy now coming back uh, into golf after a couple of years off. So I think it's in a very healthy state and will only go from strength to strength, really. And in your sort of perspective as Guernsey men's co uh, captain, I should say, yeah. um, Come sort of August time when you're looking to pick your side for the intrinsic, I mean, how many sort of players would you like ideally to be picking from? I mean, last year I remember you telling me you, you've probably never had that many to pick from before. I mean, do you yeah. think there's going to be even more this time? I think there probably will be. Yeah, I mean, in, in sort of years gone by, you sort of went from picking from probably only 12, maybe the last couple of years you're looking at 14 or 15. I think it could be even more this year. Mm. Um, you, you think last year we gave Jersey a really good run for their money and we were missing the likes of Bob and Grigsy. Uh, they're all back this year, um, so and CJ of course, and Diego. So yeah, I, I, really positive for the year ahead, and I think we're going to be pretty tough to beat this year. I mean, you mentioned Ollie there. I mean, he played as a junior last year. He's still a junior now. Can you see a couple, couple more pushing for that uh, final side as well this time? What juniors? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, uh, young Rory was there uh, as reserve last year. He was so so close to getting in the team uh, through merit. So I fully expect Rory to make a good push for the team. His younger brother Connor, again, very good player. Mm. Um, so yeah, it, it's open to everyone. Uh, hopefully they all, they'll put a good account of themselves in all the qualifying competitions. It'll be a very, very tough job to pick 10 players. Obviously you were here to discuss the Guernsey Press Elite Men's Foursomes Championship. Yep. Yep. It's the second edition this year. I mean, it, it was literally about 30 months ago that the, the idea first sprang to mind and yeah, it yeah. was put together very quickly. I mean, what were the main reasons behind the, the inaugural event? We just wanted to get some foursomes practice really for the island guys. I mean, there, there's a couple of scratch events we play, sort of inter-club events, um, but Jersey do a, 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 a foursomes match play and we, we, we just thought, why not have one here? Mm. Uh, I think the guys enjoyed it last year. Uh, we, like you say, we, we did it in a rush last year. We only had 12 pairs uh, with eight to qualify for the knockout stages. We've expanded it this year. We've gone up to 26 pairings. So it's nice to see the support and it's nice to see a, a wide range of players. We've got sort of steady, accomplished old island players. We've got some veterans in there, the senior players, and quite a few juniors as well. So it's a nice, nice spread. Um, like you said, last year, because it was sort of all pretty quickly done, you actually put the pairings together yeah, as, I did, as, last as year. captain. This year it's been a more open format. I mean, how pleased are you with the pairings that have come forward for this yeah. year? I mean, there, there's some obvious ones there. I know Steve's entered with Jamie Blondel. Um, there's a couple in there that I, I probably wouldn't have thought about or, or, or put together, but they obviously play well together. Mm -hmm. Um, so yeah, there's, uh, I'm excited to see how, how it plays out. And can we mention who you're playing with? The island's lowest handicap? <laughs> what, <laughs> what attracted me to the plus three handicap, Oli Cheddar. Um, yeah, I mean, he's, he's all right. Um, so I'm, I'm sure we'll, 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 we'll do okay. I just hope I don't let him down. Perhaps not mentioning yourself and Oli, um, do you think <laughs> that, uh, uh, who do you think might be sort of dark horses for this, one, this year's Ooh. tournament? I mean, you've got the obvious players, haven't you? The, you know, the, the island's best players, the likes of Danny Blondel. Uh, I think he's pairing up with Sam, uh, so that could be an interesting pair. I mean, foursomes is a very different game, obviously, than playing your own ball or, or four ball. Uh, Biss with with uh, Tom Patamore, uh, and the gritty, steely pairing of the two South Africans, Roland and Arthur Evans, I, I imagine will do well. Can't ignore Jeremy, defending champion. I uh, haven't seen much of Jake Marshall this year, so Jeremy's partnering CJ. Uh, that could uh, could be very interesting how the, how that one how that one plays out. Yeah. Um, like, like you say, last year Jeremy won with um, Jake Marshall. That was probably a, quite a surprising sort of pairing to win in the end. Um, yeah. They uh, they deserved to. They, they played really well. But I mean, from your perspective as Guernsey men's captain, how how satisfying is it to see sort of new faces turn up and win these big events? Very much so. Yeah. I mean, like I say, unfortunately Jake's fallen off the radar a bit this year. Um, obviously, he had to. He's, he's a young lad. He's found a job, which obviously takes priority over golf. Yeah, there's lot, lots of talent coming through. Um, it's nice to see some old faces. I, sh I should just mention that um, Daniel Griggs, one of the guys who missed out uh, on the Ireland team last year uh, because he was away in England on, on family matters. He's just entered today 
with Lindsay, Lindsay Boyd from the from the office. So you've got Griggsy with a professional. That'll be a very tough team to beat. What do you think makes a successful foursomes pairing? Uh, it's not so much birdies. It's more about pars. I think um, pars invariably will not lose you holes in foursomes. So keep the ball in play. Steady eddies, you're going to miss greens in foursomes, um, so a decent short game chipping and putting. Um, so I apologise to Ollie now. <laughs> and just sort of as we, as yourself as organiser and uh, Guernsey Press as sponsor, as we're sort of growing the event a bit, I mean, yep. uh, how, how could you see it evolving this year particularly? Well, like I said, we, we, we've gone up to 26 pairings, up from 12. We've opened it up to seniors and to juniors. They were probably excluded last year. Uh, we've introduced a bit of fun. We're going to have some hole-in-one coverage for the four par threes in the qualifying event on Sunday so there'll be an opportunity for all players to uh, get a hole in one on the 18th. Mm. Could be a remote chance but if they do they're going to win £10,000 which would be great and it's obviously the 125th year for the Guernsey Press um, so thank them for their kind sponsorship this year. There's also prizes to be won on the other par threes as well, holidays and golf clubs and what have you so a bit of fun, uh, let's hope someone can, can get a hole in one. And with your captain's hat on rather than your playing hat, what would make it a successful week for you in the elite foursomes? I, I just think getting people out there, participating, some good golf. I mean, the course is in fantastic condition compared to where we were last April. Yeah. Obviously, we had the issue with the greens and the leather jackets, and I think some of the coverage last year, you saw the ball sort of bouncing around on the green. You won't have any of that problem this year. The, the, the greens are really top class. So seeing the guys out there, from a captain's point of view, I'd also like to see them out there once they've been knocked out as well. So when you get into the latter stages, sort of the last eight, last four, it'll be nice to see a little crowd out there you know, team, cheering on their teammates. And just to make people aware, that the programme of events, it starts with a qualifier Sunday? It starts with a uh, qualifier 18-hole scratch stable foot on Sunday from 9 o'clock. Uh, you then go top 16 pairings, uh, will qualify for a straight match play, knockout Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, uh, no, no round on Thursday in the final on Friday. Thanks Dave and uh, look Pleasure. forward to the week. Yeah, thanks very much.